everybody. Applying to top schools abroad for the September 24 intake typically requires careful planning and preparation and much more than that, a hidden concept which will make sure that you do not miss anything or get late. So friends, today we will talk about your perfect study abroad timeline ki, and that's not it. We will create a such timeline that will take you to your top university. Ke pass le so let us begin. पहले बात करते हैं फ्रेंड्स स्टडी अब्रॉड टाइमलाइन एंड इनटेक है क्या इनटेक इज द मंथ एंड द ईयर इन व्हिच यू शैल बी स्टार्टिंग योर क्लासेस इन द टारगेट यूनिवर्सिटी सो फॉल 24 और सितंबर 24 मींस दैट योर क्लासेस शैल स्टार्ट इन सितंबर 24 नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट स्टडी अब्रॉड टाइमलाइन स्टडी अब्रॉड टाइमलाइन इज अ मंथ ऑन मंथ प्लान फॉर ऑल योर प्लानिंग रिलेटेड ऑपरेशनल टास्क्स दिस विल टिपिकली इंक्लूड रिसर्च एंड शॉर्टलिस्टिंग डॉक्यूमेंट कलेक्शन टेस्ट प्रेप एंड अटेम्प्ट्स एप्लीकेशन फिलिंग एडिटिंग एंड सीवी सबमिटिंग and your financial planning. If you're watching this video right now, take out a pen and paper and start writing down your timeline as per this video. So guys, let's go ahead and discuss the week on week plan for each month on a timeline with the detailed steps to help you navigate the study abroad application process for fall 24 intake in the top universities. Firstly, talking about October, that is 12 to 14 months before your intake. Let us divide our tasks across the four weeks. Week one to do, you need to research and create a list of schools according to your profile and preference. You should identify top schools in your field of interest considering factors like location, program offerings and admission requirements. Make a first shortlist of 8 to 10 schools so that based your future test scores you can pick the ones that fit your eligibility. Also use this time to enhance your profile by engaging in some courses but heads up there is not a lot of time so preference should be given to test prep. In week 3 to 4 plan your standardized tests. Determine which standardized tests example GRE, GMAT, TOEFL, IELTS are required for your your chosen schools and immediately register for necessary exams and schedule your test dates. Now, your test date shall also depend upon your preparation. If you have not taken any exam by now, begin studying and preparing for these tests. If you're not planning to take GRE or a GMAT, start applying for GRE GMAT waivers and since the university will take up to two weeks to revert. Coming to November, which is 11 months before the intake. In week 1 and 2, sort academic transcripts and since your university might take time to send those, request transcripts from your previous educational institution and make sure they are in the required format for international applications since you will not have time to get them done again. Also, register for VES evaluation immediately since right now VES is taking about one month to process. In next 3rd to 4th week, identify your recommenders and get the recommendation letters. Approach professors or mentors for recommendation letters and provide them with information about your goals and achievements. Inform them of the timeline of the mails or for the recommendation letters reaching their inbox and keep a follow-up to ensure they submit the letters on time. Talking about December. Wrap your resume or CV in week 1 to 2. Since you will have done any extra courses, projects until December, update your CV or resume to highlight the relevant experiences and you shall have to create university-wise drafts as per instruction from the university. In weeks 3 to 4, start creating a rough statement of purpose since you need a basic storyline for an SOP. Later on, you shall be creating university-wise SOP either way. As you start drafting your SOPs, focus on your academic and career goals, why you are interested in the program and what you can contribute. Also, start thinking about short-term and long-term goals since this question might require research. Coming to January, that is 9 months before the intake, Start financial planning in week 1 to 2 since a lot of expenses have to be planned. By this time, you would have already paid the test fee, but the next major expense would be the application fee. By the way, Ace My Prep helps students in identifying certain ways in which they can save up on application fees by getting application fee waivers. Want to know how? Click on the link in the description and we shall guide you personally via video one on one session with our experts. Coming back, you should use this time to also research scholarship, grants, and funding opportunities to determine the opportunities. Use this time to determine your budget and explore ways to fund your education along with your parents. In week 3 to 4, start filling up your online applications. Begin filling out online application forms for each school. Since you have already prepared all required documents such as transcripts, test scores and recommendations, it shall be very easy to complete those in one sitting per application. Now, since every university has its own SOP and essay requirements, after filling applications, you shall exactly know what has to be submitted. So, use last week to finalize the SOP, essays and resume. Coming to February. 
revise and refine your SOP and resume. You can seek feedback from professors or mentors. However, an important heads up, ideally round two deadlines are between Jan and Feb. So you should ideally try and complete submissions by January end, but always prefer quality and completion in your application. February week three to four to be used to complete all submitted applications after checking what pendencies exist on the applications. Make sure all the application fee is paid, all documents uploaded, all recommendations are filled and official transcripts and test scores reporting has been done. Coming to March, seven months before the intake, you should begin interview preparation in week one and two. Use this time to prepare for potential interviews with schools. Practice your responses to common interview questions. In the next weeks, that is week three and four, follow up with the universities and confirm that all application materials have been received by the schools. Respond promptly to any request for additional information via email. Also, use this time to speak to banks and gather financial information. Coming to April, six months before the intake, you shall be waiting for admission decision. This is typically the period when the schools review applications and make admission decisions. Be patient and use this time to consider your options and researching about the ins and outs of the universities where an application has been made. Talking about May, five months before the intake, in week 1-2, to two, start sorting your financial aid and scholarships. Apply for financial aid and university level scholarships if you have not already. You can find this info on the department page in your target university. Review and compare financial aid offers from different schools. June, that is 4 months before the intake. By this time, you will have your offers and hence you should immediately apply for visa since the slots are very, very competitive. Start creating a visa application in week 1 to 2. Start the visa application process, gather necessary documents such as your acceptance letters and financial statements. Submit your visa application by this month. Start housing and travel arrangements by week 3 and 4. Research housing options in your chosen location and book flights to plan your arrival. In July, 3 months before the intake, Mostly, you will have your visa interview in week 1-2. to two. Schedule and attend your visa interview at the nearest consulate or an embassy. And then in August, you have to head to all your dreamy preparations. Finally, in August, that is 1-2 to two months before the intake, start creating pre-departure checklist. Complete any remaining administrative tasks, pack and prepare for your journey according to the date of your flight. In September 24, you shall be in your target university, living your dream. In week one to two, you will have your orientation and enrollment. Attend orientation sessions at a chosen school, enroll in classes and finalize your schedule. In weeks three to four, you shall be more comfortable as you settle in. Get comfortable to your new surroundings. Start your academic journey with a target and kudos, you could do it. Remember that this timeline is a generic timeline and specific deadlines and requirements can vary between the schools and countries. Always double check the requirements of each each school you are applying to and make sure to adhere to the deadlines. If you have any doubts in your mind or you want to help Ace My Prep, you will have a link in your study abroad process. I have added a link in the description which you can click on a free study abroad strategy session with our experts where you will get three things. First, a list of top five universities that you should apply as per your profile. Second, courses with best possible ROI. Third, salaries and job prospects post your studies abroad. So click on the first link in the description to schedule your study abroad strategy session and video agar informative laga to please subscribe like and share with your friends who apna study abroad process start karna chahte hain and they might end up saving thousands of rupees in the study abroad process stay tuned for more informative videos